Hi, this is Ron Eamon with Next Home. Today I'm going to talk about agency and agency relationships. People work with real estate agents and there's a lot of information or responsibility behind that relationship that I just want to cover today in, to, in today's video. So an agency relationship, that's between a client and the real estate agent. And in Pennsylvania that relationship has to be put in writing. So uh, we have two contracts. If a seller is hiring an agent, it's a listing contract. If a buyer is hiring an agent, it is a buyer agency contract. So the uh, relationship must be in writing. All real estate transactions uh, that are using an agent must be in writing. And uh, so you're hiring an agent. That agency relationship creates a fiduciary duty from the agent to the client, which is called a principal in the fiduciary duty. So um, I'm going to um, talk from this textbook, which is Real Estate Principles by Ling and Archer. It's also the text that I use um, in my real estate finance course at Westchester University. So I'm going to go through fiduciary duty. There are uh, six elements here, and I'm going to talk about each one uh, that is uh, created in the fiduciary um, duty um, to the client. Confidentiality is the first one. You must keep the principal's information confidential unless they give you permission to disclose that information. That's confidentiality of their financial situation, their motivations, the price they're willing to sell the property at, etc. So all of that information must be held confidential by the agent to perform their fiduciary duty. I get um, contracts in all the time on listings that um, are written up at one number and they're delivered to me by an agent and the agent says, yes, um, we wrote it up here, but my buyer is willing to pay this price for your listing. And it just seems odd to me that you would spend all the time writing up an agreement at a different number than um, the client is allowing the agent to even talk about. So confidentiality of their position and the price that they will pay for a property is part of the fiduciary duty. The second one is obedience. You must follow the instructions or objective of the principal as long as they're not illegal um, and execute on that directive. So that is obedience. Accounting is the next one. You must give the principal an accounting of any deposit monies that are delivered to you as an agent and you must inform them of the financial impact or ramifications of their decision, their contracts, um, all of the elements where uh, there is money involved including the closing costs on a property. So accounting. Loyalty. You must put the interests of the principal above all others including your own. That is loyalty. Disclosure, you have a responsibility to be open and honest with the principal. That includes disclosing material defects. As a licensed agent, I show lots of houses and I see lots of problems and I have to point those out to my buyer as we're going through the property. You have to be open and honest. And then skill and care is the final one on the list of six fiduciary duties, skill and care. You must use your knowledge, expertise, available information, and to a certain extent your time in performing um, to the best of your ability for your principal um, to comply with your fiduciary duty. So that's it. That's agency and the fiduciary duty created by agency. Some Pennsylvania law in there. And um, that is agency in a nutshell.